Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart. And in this technical analysis of the stock market video, I'm going to show you why the Dow Industrials finally agrees with the negative signal of the New York Composite. So stay tuned. Okay, let's start off here with the Dow weekly. And you can see the big bounce. We're up 372 points for the week. Wow, 372 points for the week. We were up 396 yesterday. So we got almost all of that on the final day of the week. Uh, any, you know, huge, big, big move up yesterday. But to me, that just seems like a lot of short covering. Uh, and, uh, you know, when I look at it on an hourly basis, this is clearly a zigzag. Uh, correction uh, that I've been looking for and I detail that out in my daily videos with my insider members uh, you know and we're clearly approaching that uh, retracement level that I'm expecting and so need to be a little bit cautious here in the market is extremely overbought uh, the next one I'm gonna take a look at is the Russell 2000 on a weekly basis uh, up what 14.72 points for the week uh, you know, we're not nearly as far back as the uh, pullback as we, is on the uh, on the Dow. And, you know, yeah, we, this is my Elliott wave count that I've got. I believe we're in a third minor wave down. Same thing on the on the uh, Dow weekly third minor wave down. I don't think we're even close to, uh, you know, completing the third wave. And then, of course, we're going to have a fourth wave, probably be a sideways since this is a pullback on number two. They two and four tend to alternate. Okay, so if two is a sharp pullback, four is ten C B sideways, and vice versa. So that's what we're looking at now. Let's take a look at the monthly. Now the monthly on the Dow. So here's where I'm talking about right here. We were down 958 points for the month. And we the 10 exponential moving average, 10 month exponential, and the 21 month simple in here. The 10 is crossed down below the 21 for the first time. OK, in this entire move since the financial crisis, it doesn't has never happened. OK, now when I talked about catching up with the negative signal of the New York composite, the New York composite did this last September. OK, and so it's been it had a moving average cross and has been signaled and it's been a lot weaker uh, than al almost all the indices and, and leading us down. And uh, it's a very broad index. And the other thing is all of the indices except for the NASDAQ have now crossed on their monthly basis. So, And so when you look back and say, well, when, when did we do that at the top of 2007? Well, it was right here, May 2008. Okay. And when did we do that at the top? You know, in 2000. And it happened, hmm, looks like, I believe it was... Let me look at that. Uh, we did slightly here in November of 2000. Uh, and then you can see it just kind of pushed sideways, a little choppiness, and then eventually rolled on over a little bit uh, here on the Dow on the monthly basis. So interesting signal that we're getting here with the moving averages crossing. Uh, so the next one we'll take a quick look at is the VIX. And, you know, the VIX pulled back. Naturally, that's what it does when the market, uh, you know, rallies like this. I think we might have a little bit of a pennant formation going on. Last week I showed, I had a, a line across the top here, thought we were going to get an explosive move, and it just didn't happen. It just, uh, it started to go in here on the, the 20th, and then it just pulled that, pulled back down. Uh, and of course, this was the previous week action. Maybe that line I had, no, nah, I think I showed it last week and definitely did it the week before. So we'll see what happens here now uh, with the VIX, not really giving us a, a strong signal, watching more closely on the, uh, on the indices. Let's take a look at the dollar real quick. The uh, dollar had a big move up this week, although, well, actually it was mostly yesterday because this ended up being basically almost flat for the week. But when you look at it on a daily basis, it had a pretty big pop. And why was that? That was because, you know, the European, the Japanese central bank went into negative interest rates for the first time ever, trying to stimulate their economy. The yen went in the tank, therefore the dollar rallied big. Uh, and so that was the implications of what was going on there. So the dollar, I think, is, let me go back to the weekly. I think we're in a, a final push up in here. I think we've got a fifth intermediate wave that we're doing. We've got a one, two, three, four, and we're, you know, we're starting to resume this. It's not been real strong. 
And so it'll be a real, we got to watch these waves to just see how far is this really going to go. Are we, are we going to push beyond the, the high of three or, or what? So kind of watching that one on a close, closely uh, on a daily basis. Gold on a weekly basis pushed up. We were kind of sideways for two weeks uh, after that nice move on the week ending the January 8th. And so we got a nice move up this week. Uh, I'm still looking for it to come up or approach the top of this ending diagonal pattern, looking for a breakout. And uh, the next one I want to take a look at is the biotech, IBB. This is really in the tank, very negative. Uh, look, at, uh, look at this move since uh, Jan uh, December 29th, and here's the end of the year. So here's the 31st, but since it's high on the 29th, it is down 23%, okay, in a month, basically a month. So, you know, some people say, you know, you're in a bear market if you're down 23%. Well, this, you know, I, I don't really agree with that. I mean, I, I think if you're in a downtrending, you're breaking trend lines and you're downtrending, you're in a bear market. Uh, and, you know, you could talk about degrees, but look, look at what it is from the high back here on July 20th. And I did do a special on my with my members at a request. Every Friday I do an Ask Joe uh, video where people, uh, members can request ask questions and then I'll do a, a video answering the questions type of thing. And so I had a special analysis of IBB from a very long term uh, uh, earlier wave count and how how did it compare to the S&P 500 and what's the implications for the projections to the downside. So spent a lot of time looking at that and uh, it's a pretty uh, uh, I mean, this thing has gotten hit pretty hard, and I think it's got more to go. Let's take a look at one of the members of, of uh, IBB, which is Gilead Sciences. Now, I'm going to come back to this one. I want to go to the Gilead daily first, and then we're going to come back. So here it is on a daily basis. You can see the downtrend, and look what happened with Gilead yesterday. Market's up 400 points, and Gilead's in the tank, down 4.5 points. Now, the big thing is... It broke this support line. This is a major support line at 86. Uh, let me let me zoom back out of it, and you can see that was the August 24th. This you know little mini mini crash uh, time here. That was the low in here. The low was 86, and then over here on uh, the 20th of January had a low of 86.28. So very close. And then back over here in the December 23rd, 2014, 85.95. So again, 86. And it broke right through, smashed right through that. So pretty negative picture when you look at it on a weekly basis, which is the chart that I pulled up just a second ago. This looks like a large head and shoulders pattern to me. And we got a pretty decisive break and close below that neckline. And when head and shoulders patterns, the neckline can you know, sometimes slant up and slightly down and that type of thing. But the strongest picture is when they're purely horizontal like this is. So right now, the projection I've got is that that uh, Gilead's going to be heading towards a minimum expected move of 60. Now, this is a weekly chart, so it could take a while to get there. You just never know. And when you zoom back out on this, it's had a big move, but it's in a pretty strong upward channel. Uh, in this move since, uh, you know, the 90s, early 90s here. So it's not surprising that it's topping out right now, and especially given what the market's doing. All right, that's the picture for today. Uh, if you like the video, hit, hit the like button down below. And uh, come on over and check out the website uh, and uh, take a look at the membership over there also. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll talk to you again next week.